Hey guys, McCracken here, and today we're playing Colonel Sanders, or I love you Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator, again. Guys, this is episode 2, bet you didn't think I would do it, huh? I bet you guys, no com there was no confidence in me whatsoever, right? Yeah, I get it. Let's just get to the video. Alright, last time we left off to the cafeteria, so here we go. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention, please? Is that about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Hey, by cheers. But I... Shh! Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said shh. In honor of our new semester, I've prepared something special to share with everyone for, for lunch. That must be the smell I smell. Indeed. That smell... You hold your breath waiting to see what the, what food this mysterious student has created. You heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. It, its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. Well, that's all I'll say about that. What? You think we want your stupid recipe, dude? Pshaw! Nah, my dude. Nah. I'm just, uh, drafting my last will and testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is, uh, poison. Ha ha ha! Got him! Ha. He looks around nervously sleep to see if anyone else is laughing at a sick burn. You wait to see what Singer Ashley has prepared to follow up. But she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like, like, writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent. As she slides closer to Colonel Sander, she realizes that she... She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Oh, please. Well, Van Van, the man man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I'll get, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you fill it weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try to identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Or swim towards the light. Uh, let's go with this one. Focus our minds. You let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it. Scrutinizing every flavor. Salt, maybe. Pepper, too obvious. Oregano, basil, maybe. But there's something else. Something dark. Something spicy. You dig deeper. 
deeper, deeper. Yes, even deeper still. Until you find it. Could it be? Hmm? You really did it. How bold. How adventurous to use. Hmm? You try to go even deeper into the sea of flavors. But this elevation alone is more than you can handle. You snap out of it and realize that this information is meant, was meant to remain a secret. And yet, now you know. The mantle of responsibility now rests upon your shoulders. As you look around, you realize that everyone in the room is consumed by the lunch. No one noticed that you've traveled through space and time. After tasting his food, you try to get one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He sees what he is doing you and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wonder if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fail shift. What exactly was on that chicken? <laughs> uh, I, I saw that real quick. How bored of you to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? I saw that really quickly, guys. I'm... I accidentally pressed that. Sorry, but it said, what's the rush? We still got whole days. He's clearly not going to give it up that easy, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learn to be fun. You got Moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use, hmm? It's something my great grandmother taught me. Hmm? Wow, you never guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where to get some if you search. Hmm? Wait, and hmm definitely isn't the flavor you tasted before. So now you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe. But you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. What is hmm? And hmm? We must figure that out. While you're wrapped up in the huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is in, is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Alone together for the first time. I figure now is the perfect moment to show your, your personality to him. Let's be modest but thoughtful. He's exploding with love again, guys. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. The flavors were complex but comforting. The play between salty, savory, and peppery is... It was perfect! I appreciate the compliment, Mick. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. We should head back today. The next lesson starts soon. You step into the massive cooking arena after where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this ep episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you liked this video. And goodbye.